Three things you should look for in a career. According to Charlie Munger, your career may make or break your long-term prosperity. The worst thing that can happen is that you will ruin your life if you choose the wrong job. You'd have to give up on success for good. Charlie Munger has had the type of career that most people wish for. For the previous 40 years, he has been Warren Buffett's right-hand man, and he is more technically recognized as Berkshire Hathaway's vice chairman. Munger is a wellspring of knowledge in business and finance, and he offers some advice for young people just starting their professions and their lives. When asked what young people should seek in a career, he offers three bits of advice. Having all three in a career is difficult. But if you can find all the three things in a career, consider yourself lucky. Watch till the end and check whether your current job has these three things. 1. Don't sell something you wouldn't buy yourself. Quality people sell quality things and then back them up. And, like everything else, it's easier to keep selling something you wouldn't purchase yourself. Even if you choose not to use the product, you may unconsciously convince yourself that it isn't all that bad. Worst, if you sell anything of bad quality early in your career, the strength of associations will change you in the buyer's view as a person of low quality. A shady product and a shady you will have little in common. Therefore, don't choose a job selling something you wouldn't buy for yourself. Choose a job in which you can market something you are proud of. Choose a job that sells something you'd like to have. 2. Work for no one whom you do not respect and admire. Choose to work for someone you like, someone who shows you the way and helps you become a better person. It would help if you worked for someone who expects nothing less from you and consistently encourages you to give your best. Not everyone can bring forth the best in you. You want to work for someone who is invested in your success. Your supervisor should be someone you respect, not someone you'd like to work for. If you hate your boss, it will be the end of your career. Your life will become hell. This will not last. You would not want to do this every day. Work is meaningless unless you like it. Workplace pleasure should be high on your priorities list. An excellent boss is enjoyable to work with. He provides you with things to solve and encourages you to progress. He possesses wonderful attributes that you admire. When you admire someone, you want to imitate his characteristics. His actions and the way he handles situations make you a better person. You may learn from him, not just by listening to what he says, but also by seeing what he does. He serves as your live mentor. It is important to have a mentor in life. It simplifies the process of improving your life. You may learn directly from him. You would learn a lot from such a guy if you can spend one third of your day with him. Given the same additional perks, opt to work for someone you adore and respect. This will be one of the greatest investments you will ever make. You'll also get a mentor for free. 3. Work only with people you enjoy. You will work for your boss, but also with your coworkers. You will spend more time with your coworkers than you will with your boss. If you don't like the people you work with, you'll not like your job. It is critical to choose the right people in life. It's more significant than you think. Life is too short to put up with the furious and arrogant. Avoid supervisors that employ manipulative tactics to elicit a certain action from you, as well as those who prefer verbal abuse to more worthy kinds of communication. Obviously, many people are unable to pick who they work for, but it is still worthwhile to look for other options if you are unhappy with your current employer. All of these things may appear to be common sense, but according to Charlie Munger, common sense is all you need to live a full, rich life. Hope this video helped. Thanks for watching.